Well, good afternoon, good morning. What's popping? I don't know what it is to you, okay? But it's a little bit um after mid, you know, afternoon here. And so I want to come out and do something a little different for this beautiful Saturday. Girl, the sun is beaming. And I know I'm going to be out here in these streets, okay? So I wanted to give y'all something, right? Hey, Litlets. Yup, yup. Listen, if you haven't had a chance to go get them numbers up on the last muck banger media that we did. It's waiting on you, bitch. What you waiting on? Okay, get them numbers up because y'all know YouTube is playing. Me and YouTube is in a battle bit, okay? And I'm gonna win. Trust me. Hey, Liddy Rivers. What's up, Aquarius Mama? Juicy Jackie is shot. Yeah, what's up, my Lisa? Kay Tay, Tammy. What's up, Latricia? Yep, and so we in here. Thumbs me up if you just enter the room. Hey, Sydney, and let's let's dialogue really quick, okay? So when I got, you know, after I did my daily morning rituals, okay, I thought about yesterday and somebody saying that it was their birthday. Now, I'm thinking that their birthday was yesterday, okay? If you happen to find this video today, happy MFing birthday, right? Um. Any and all ladies, you can feel free to send requests to my email, okay, which is roses at gmail.com. Email at me at any time. Um, if you need some words of encouragement or anything like that, just hit me up. I do respond, okay? Keep in mind this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. And this is a small play off of the midday show. So I thought about the weekends. The news don't stop just because it's the weekend. And so welcome to Blog Hog with Loke. Okay, we're going to hog these blogs up and get into it. Hey, Kim, what's up, Kate Tay? I want to get into it. <clears throat> but first, we're going to talk about the season. Okay, it's Pisces season. Now, if you got any Pisces in your real life, then you, you know, you may understand them, you may not. Um, Pisces can be known as a bit mystical, big dreamers. Um, and you know, they pretty much the, the sky's the limit for a Pisces mind, okay? Which is a good thing. Hey, goop dude, that's a good thing. Um, to have big dreams, be a bit mystical about it, okay? Um, if you know any Pisces, there's there is that tug of war when it comes to love and hate, okay. Uh, simply because they can be very loving. And I don't know if that's role playing or not, because I'm not no Pisces, okay? But they can be they can be very loving, um, or you know, it could be the total opposite. And so we know that all signs have their, you know, their ups and downs. Uh, but something very mystical about a Pisces, <clears throat> which is why in this energy, it's the same thing, okay? Um, you'll have your moments where you will withdraw and want to be to yourself, okay? Get trapped in your thoughts. But then you'll also have your moments where you want to go out and be a social butterfly. That's just how it goes, okay? And so uh, in this particular time, you might be feeling like you want to go accomplish some goals, right? The sky is the limit. And that's always a good thing, especially being that the season is changing, okay, from winter to spring. And so, um, you know, I had mentioned that it'd be a good idea to kind of pull back, hold back. I know with some of your favorite YouTubers, you can see the season change through them and how they get down, okay? One minute, everything is gravy. Next minute, it could be chaos. That's how powerful the energy is. So, you know, I would suggest in this Pisces season to go ahead and whatever your mind can think of, if you can find the first step to do it, come on in, do it, okay? You just never know. 
That, that's the good thing about Pisces energy. And I told y'all that I've got, you know, a couple of Pisces in my real life. One of them being a, a best friend and we'll take our breaks, but we've never fallen out. Like, right. We've never had a, a knockdown drag out. Oh, I'm going to dog her. Talk about her. Uh, uh, nope, 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 nope. Just don't get down like that. We can pretty much read each other's energy when it's time to take a break. We take a break. When it's time to come together, we come together. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Pay attention to the cycles in your life, right? I'm not the only one. Just like I have other Zodiac friends that there'll be a specific or certain time of the year where we just don't talk. We ain't mad at each other. We didn't fall out. We just have st stood our distance, kept our distance. That's a good thing. And I don't think that you know, those people in my life understand energy, but I do. And they know when I come around, I'm going to break it down to them. And they love that, you know. So pay attention to the cycles in your life. What time of a year do people come around in your life? That's very significant, even though we don't like to acknowledge it. Everything is all about the energy. So once again, enjoy this Pisces season. Take advantage of this good part of the Pisces energy. This is a Pisces side or that Pisces energy time where you will feel um, uh, you, you're just going to get a burst of energy. You're going to start thinking of goals and, and things that you could be doing. Okay. Um, you know, whatever comes to mind, you just might be able to accomplish it. And you don't have to be a Pisces to be able to do that. OK, so shout out to all the Pisces in the in the room for the one time. OK, happy birthday for anybody that I have missed. It's a beautiful Saturday blog haul. We're going to have a little play off of the midday show, bitch. OK, so let me get it together. Thumbs me up if you just enter the room. We ain't worried about how you doing. How you feeling, okay, on this beautiful Saturday? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, during during this little segment, I'm, I'm going to touch on some things. Uh, Y'all know it, it had to be a bit of emergency, girl, for me to come out on this Saturday and get into uh, and, and get into some of this stuff that's going on in, in the worldly environment. Okay, so let's get into it. Thumb me up for the one time. What's up? So really quick, okay. Mukbanger Media tonight, whatever time I get into it, it's going to be lit. Uh-huh. I got a bit of a surprise for y'all, right? Make sure y'all go subscribe to Local the Coldest Libra so we can get to where we need to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful day, Lisa. I'm hyped. I can't wait to get my clothes on <clears throat> and get up out of here, bitch. Uh-huh. But first, we need to talk. We need to talk. We need to talk. How many people in the building? Like, honest, this is an honest moment. How many in the pe people in the building really give a flying fart if somebody likes them or not? Now, this is your time to be honest. You can flame it up if you care, if somebody likes you. And you can put a hammer in the chat if you don't, okay? Flame or hammer. Show me how you feel. You know, I asked the question <clears throat> because understandably, we all, you know, are going to have people that like us, don't like us, all of that. I, I, I really wish that I cared. Hey, Lenny, baby. I really wish that I cared if somebody liked me or not, you know, and I know that there are a lot of you around that don't give a damn if, if people like you either. Okay. You don't have to like me. You know, I would prefer that you respect me as opposed to like me because you liking me ain't going to do shit 
for me. Okay. So just to quickly clarify, right. For all of, you know, there could be some young snot noses that think that, you know, somebody gets a rise or, or, uh, is crippled because you don't like them. And even for some of the older goats, you know, I, I hope that you understand that I don't, really don't give a damn if, if you like me or not. Nah. This is that prime example of people, you know, real, realizing and recognizing a change, seeing that you uh, have shifted in energy and are trying, but will do their very best to try to gain attention. You know, the last time I checked, some of the main people that don't like folk around here have been on this internet for quite some time and can't even get a hundred views on their channel. You know, uh, we would suggest that you go ahead and like yourself first, bitch, okay? And then maybe you can get that weak ass channel up off the ground. Uh-huh. <clears throat> you know, it'd be the main ones that you don't mention, that you don't you don't say anything about, that has the strongest opinion about you. Yep. The last time I checked, the only way that I'm going to dog walk a Negra or a beach, uh-huh, is if they violate me. I've never came out on my channel and dog anybody unless they came for me. Now, when I have made my responses, uh, not one time was I concerned that any geezer with tick syndrome liked me or not, right? <laughs> Bitch, that's one less uh, 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 bozo I got to worry about, okay? It's the elk nose for me. Girl, you better go on about your business. You understand me? Quit watching. Because I don't watch them or you or whatever you want to be classified as, you know. So why is you watching if you just don't like a person? Bitch, let me tell you, I'm going to match your energy. Don't like you either. Don't like the looks of you. I don't like that nerve condition you got going on. And I'm sick of every time somebody gives this individual a little bit of airtime. She makes sure to speak in third party and try to reference something that's going on around here to the Liddy City. Girl, you better get your life. Apparently, you don't like yourself. You go do something about them motherfucking crawling nerves in your face. You don't like yourself, do you? So why would I expect you to like me? You know, I also want to mention, hey, L, my nigga. Hey, hey, hey. I also want to mention that <laughs> it's the audacity. People will wait good and damn well until they see you doing good and over here minding your business and here they come like I'm retired or, or like my fixers broke or something. If I choose to take a, a, a positive route, that's because I want to. But every day is still a struggle, sis. I ain't never retired, okay? So don't never think you can take advantage of the time. I know you talk back, and so we, we just be talking back, okay? Yeah, it's an alf for me. Girl, go on about your business. They, they got an app named Twitch that will fit you perfectly, bitch. You understand me? Talking about, oh, and she's over there. She talks about people and wants to play so spiritual. I'm spiritual enough to stay away from a psychotic old dingbat like you. I want you to understand that I ain't never been around there to Twitch City. You hear me? I ain't never been around there. Never. But I sure pull up a couple videos where you was hanging around to the Liddy City that you claim not to like so much. I can show pull up a couple phone calls where you would call the Liddy City motherfucking hotline because you hated us so much. Something about that spirituality that just can't keep you from around here, right? Apparently, you still using that big honker of an elk nose you got to snoop around here to the Liddyville. Girl, take that snout elsewhere. Ma'am, we don't bother you. Mm, shit. 
And so if you don't like where it goes down, just stay the fuck from around. It's simple. And so here we are. Okay. Uh, it's a beautiful day, y'all. I don't know what y'all got planned. Now, y'all know usually on a Saturday, I come on around here to the to the uh, coldest Libra and I get my jam on. But we did that yesterday. See, I'm a little bit advanced. I, I was too anxious and it came on out and did the jam session. It was the trap trap music jam, jam session. Oh, and it was lit, bitch. Okay. But I did it early. And so now we can't do it today because I don't want to burn y'all out. Right, so we're going to get into these blogs. Uh, feel free to support the channel on this beautiful Saturday because we out here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's go ahead and get into some of this news, right? And I, I did fair warn y'all, we got a hell of a mugbanger media, so set your reminder. I'm going to put the, um, the premiere out right after this blog hog session. Okay, and so be ready, y'all, because it's going to be lit, but I got to get my running out first, bitch, okay? Let's get on over here to, uh, I think we'll deal with the neighborhood talk first. Shout out to all the ladies in the room. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, y'all. It's a beautiful day, and I can't, I couldn't make that up if I wanted to. Um, here we have Kodak Black, right? We're just going to run through these little blogs for the one time. So I hope you got some time because I know I do, bitch. And speaking of having time, <clears throat> because it's such a beautiful day, we got time for just about anything, just in case. Yep, I want to go ahead and further remind in any individual, you know, uh, you get your views up. Get your views up. First, get your views up, okay? Get your, get, your, get your shit together. Get your views up. And then, you know, we might worry about who you liking and who you ain't liking around here. Okay. Ugh. I don't even see how, you know, a lot of people, man, fuck this. I'm not done talking about it. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Let's, let's, let's backtrack a little bit. A lot of people are afraid. See, that's the problem. You know, it's so much I could say, but I, one thing I don't like, I don't like when an individual tries to take advantage of my, my calmness. I said C-A-L-M-N-E-S-S. -S. See, I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm cordial. I've been nice. I ain't bother nobody. I try to take the high road. And that's when these demons and bullwinkles uh, try their best to take advantage. But I do need people to understand. I'm never retired. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. See, a lot of people are afraid of certain individuals, which is the reason why you don't like me, because, you know, ain't no fear over here. I tell the truth, but I don't bother nobody. That's one thing that a bitch lied about. I don't bother nobody. You got to come for me. And then you can't even say no little slick shit, especially when you, it's is every time, every time somebody gives you a debut or every time somebody gives you a chance, even when you ranting and raving on your own pitiful ass channel, you seem to always revert back to Liddy City in a third party reference some type of way. And that is a shame. Why don't you go ahead and admit that you obsessed with this, uh, this over here? This is what you wanted to be four, five years ago, right? But you're not even realizing that when you spoke about me and did what you did, you messed your own shit up. Okay? It's, it's called the MVP, the most valuable player. And so that would be me, bitch. And I know you hate that. <clears throat> oh, the chakras is trying to, yeah, y'all heard a voice trying to, let me, let me, let me not. You would, you better not want to, girl. You don't want me to either. Hey, Joy, baby. Yeah. Yeah, because I got a few reserved, you know, like still reserve. I bet you drink that in your spare time. Uh, you know, I got a few reserved words for you, girl, if you want to. Mm. Leave me alone. Stop worrying about me. You know, I'm I'm not them. See, some people run around, oh, miss this and miss that, because they're scared of you. They see something's the matter. They, they don't know if that tick is going to turn into a tick, 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 boom. You understand that's the problem. But everybody ain't scared of you, girl. You know, 
And like I said, I got, you know, like you take that old can of peas or some shad and put it on the shelf. Uh -huh. I do got some reserved words for a bitch that gets so upset when somebody responds to her shenanigans. You picking and poking, trying to be slick and, sh you know, it ain't going to work. I'm going to give you exactly what you want. I'm going to make it exactly about you for the simple fact that you keep on. Who cares? You already made it clear. You don't like me and, and fuck, fuck I don't like you either. It's just that simple. But there's only one difference. You've been around here. I ain't never been around there. Okay? <clears throat> so that, that, that would explain a lot. So for anybody that thinks they're going to take advantage of me trying to do the right thing, it's always that little piece of wrong that's still left up in there, bitch. Don't be a part of it, okay? I ain't never too good or too tired to get some scraping. Now, can we move on? Let's move on. I had to get that on out. Uh-huh, get that on out. Yeah, yeah, because people like to play a lot. So, blog hog, let's move on. T.I. not feeling Kodak going around saying he tried to get him kicked off a label. Um, now I don't know the deeps of this story right here. Yeah, it's jealousy. It's sad. It's sad. And they want to try to, uh, you know, desecrate. They're going to try to, uh, dissect or, or downplay what I do over here. You know, quit watching because it ain't for you. You a demon. And we already clarified that. So as I mentioned, um, T.I. is very opinionated. I think T.I. might be a Libra. Now, y'all, you know, no, I done told y'all how I feel about Libra men. And if I haven't, let me remind you, I don't jig with them. Okay. Uh, you know, y'all know how I be. Y'all know how I be. A lot of times, you know, when you a particular sign and you got your ways, you wouldn't dare want a twin around. Okay, bitch. Okay. But, you know, T.I., he's a... Uh, He's, he's very opinionated and he got a lot to say. Okay. Um, and, and he spoke on Kodak Black because apparently Kodak Black is saying that he tried to get T.I. kicked off of a label. Okay. Now, y'all know how I feel about Kodak Black. I played a little bit of his music yesterday before the <coughs> cloning. Um, he was on to something. So I should have titled the title of this video, uh, Metroverse Edition, meaning space edition. Uh, in, in this time, you're going to hear a lot of that word Metroverse. You're going to hear a lot about space. Okay. Because once was, will be again. And there's a reason. Uh, why they talk about space now? Toya says, Loca, I have a Libra man, it's not easy. <laughs> okay, this is what I need to do now. This is just the playoff of the midday show, y'all. Uh, this edition of the midday is the weekend edition called Blog Hog, right? I want it to be fun, you know, it's a beautiful day. Look what everybody's talking about, okay? So, the link is in the chat. Toya, if you know how to click that link, would you like to come up and tell us what it's like to have a Libra man? Now, I'm going to tell you something. I don't know nothing about it. Or if you don't know how to click the link, anybody, okay, that has had any experience with a Libra man, the latest phone lines are always open. I really wish you guys would take advantage, okay? So I need y'all to call the original Littest phone line number, okay? We done had to, we done had to ditch the old one. So the Littest phone line number is 502-480-9701. It's on the ticker on the bottom of the screen, okay? So yeah, you know, T.I. is very opinionated. He does talk a lot. Um, I have heard that some Libra men can be liars. Okay. You know, I don't know. Cause I'm an honest upfront type of person. 
And I'm very loyal to a default, which is why I don't fool with everybody, okay? Uh, but there is a difference in the masculine and the feminine energy, okay? I just know I can't have, I don't want one. I'm not, I'm not attracted to them and they're not attracted to me. And you might find that in most signs, you know, you're rarely going to see an Aries with an Aries, right? You're rarely going to see a Scorpio with a Scorpio. It's going to be that opposites attract, okay? So the latest phone lines are open. The link is in the chat if you want to take advantage. But yeah, T.I. Honey, you know, we know we know what Tiny has been through. Uh, we know her endeavors being in a relationship with poor T.I., okay? Hey, Borico, baby. Yep. Hey, Riza. What up, Mama Debbie? Lo uh, Riza says, Loka, most tourist eights attractive to them? Huh? Rewrite that, babe. I don't understand. So, um, let's listen to what T.I. had to say. I had to get him kicked off a label. Mm. Um, you know, whenever I hear my name associated with shit that ain't true, I just try and got you know, I try my best to at least for initially when I hear it to clear that shit up. Man, my nigga, I ain't never wasted my time, energy, or oxygen trying to worry about you or nobody else and what motherfucking record label is assigned to my nigga. That ain't how I, that Yep, 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 yep. Well, I mean, yeah, you can tell he loves to talk because he's walking, you know, around the house and pacing uh, around the house, talking to himself pretty much because you can barely hear him, okay? So if you didn't hear him, you ain't missed nothing, okay? He's basically saying that he never speaks about him. Now, T.I. is aging, in which we all will, okay? But T.I. is getting older, um, and we, I do feel like there should be a limit, you know, in this new age, I feel like it should be a limit to being a rapper. Okay. See, I should be a retired rapper. You understand me? Now that's just my opinion. Okay. But when you start comparing the old school with the new school and the old rappers beefing with the new school rappers, that's a problem. Okay. If anything, we should be lifting up and mentoring. Now we know that Kodak Black can say some pretty outlandish things, especially since the <clears throat> cloning. Okay. We know this ain't that we don't know this new Kodak Black that gropes his mama and touches on his mama booty and stuff. We don't know that Kodak Black. Okay, but we do know um that TI is an OG rapper um that hasn't been rapping so much here lately and rightfully so. Okay. So let's hear what he has to say on this particular clip. Was it and I wish you the absolute best on your journey. So I don't know where that shit came from. You slap hand and parted ways, ways amicably. I don't, I don't know where that shit came from. You heard that I tried to get you kicked off the label. But you you saw it, I fuck with it. Continue, continue on. Let on, 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 bro. Now, 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 Okay, so now I got the straights of it. So apparently Kodak Black did an interview with Charlemagne the God and mentioned that T.I., the OG T.I., tried to get Kodak Black kicked off a label. So what we seen was T.I. responding saying, nigga, I don't even know you. Okay, I like your music, but I've never tried to get you kicked off of a label. So I hope that they can get it straightened out. Now, Trouble Man 31 is uh, T.I.'s page. He says, don't know where you get this cap ass shit from, bruh. For the record, I ain't never wasted my time worrying about another nigga bankroll or record deal. Told you this in your section face to face personally in booby trap. And I'll say it again. Much success to you, gangster or youngster. Stay focused. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's definitely a Libra. He's definitely a Libra. I don't believe that he snitched on no Kodak. I don't think he tried to get him kicked off no rap. But that ain't, that ain't how we get down. We actually like the competition as long as it's healthy. Okay. Um, so we know that the new Kodak could possibly have been programmed. It seems like Kodak's coming for a little bit of everybody. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, we don't want to make more out of it than what it is, right? Now, as we move on, blog hog, okay, let's move on a little bit. So Rihanna, Rihanna has never been seen out in the public more than what she has in this day. She's glowing. She's beautiful. Uh, I'm shocked to see her without ASAC Ropke on her side right about now because in the, in the past few months, that's, uh, we've seen them together, like hip by hip, side by side. Uh, we've seen them, you know, holding, embracing each other. And, you know, Rayana has popped up pregnant. Now, I am hoping to see a, um, you know, some type of a proposal being done. Uh, you know, th this is always it. Like, if this was some type of a biracial relationship, then there would be a ring involved. You know, this is the deeper look that you got to look at. Like, okay, you're pregnant, you know, um, Clearly, you're in a relationship with ASAP. Get married, okay? Or, or pretend like you are, right? But every time you see Riri, that belly's out, okay? So it does seem like she's cherishing this pregnancy, which is a good thing, okay? And she has been in the spotlight like, like never before. When she wasn't pregnant, you never seen Riri this much, okay? Um, there's a lot I could say about that. Just like we're watching that pregnancy, so is the industry or the people that control the industry. You better know that. Okay. And so you can look at it a couple of different ways. She's guarding a baby with her life or it could possibly be an industry baby. You just never know. Okay. Um, but I hope that her and, and ASAP Rocky are successful with their relationship. You know, we wouldn't dare want another um, Bobby Christina. You know, you always have to be careful with these industry babies, okay? So I'm hoping to see a union made between the two of them, um, especially with Riri being such a big influence. So many people looking forward to her motherhood. Um, yeah, you know. I'm going to keep it cute, okay? I'm going to keep it cute for the simple fact I hope that this, you know, everything works out pretty good, right? Now, let's move on, okay? So, Monique, every now and then, anybody know what Monique's zodiac sign is? Okay. Every now and then, Monique will pop up and uh, create, cause a little bit of havoc, right? Cause a little bit of trouble from time to time. It says, okay, looks like 50 Cent is going to get Monique back in the game after the industry blackballed her. What? Now here, let me tell you this. So this is a, this could be a blessing and a curse. Okay. Monique has been promoted and hired by some of the greatest producers in the industry. Okay. People that pretty much run black entertainment right about now, like Lee Daniels and Tyler Perry. Okay. Oprah Winfrey, right? It didn't quite work out though. You could find Monique doing interviews. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. That explains it, Bariqua. You see how that energy thing works? See how I can just feel stuff? Okay. Yeah. So every now and then Monique could come out, cause a little havoc, cause problems. Okay. Um, and you know, she's about to hook up with 50 Cent. 50 Cent, who is the producer of Power, one of the leading shows on um, whatever that show is. It stars, y'all, I think so. Um, an ongoing series that pretty much got knocked out the box. I mean, he really hit a home run with the show Power. It's very addictive. Now, I ain't addicted to it, but it's a lot of people, you know, out here that can't, cannot go a, a episode without watching Power. Very exciting, gives you that thrill, and it's relatable. And it, it would always take uh, somebody with a, a realistic mind to be a great editor or somebody that's been through something to be a great producer. And I think 50 Cent is just that. He was also successful with a movie that he made, Get Rich or Die Trying. Okay, everybody could relate to that movie. So it looks like, I think it's safe to say 50 Cent is a better producer than he is a rapper, okay? Um, but this connection, ooh-wee, it could be good or bad, okay? Uh, now, we know that 50 Cent, when he's done with you, okay, 
he he can get ugly. You know, don't forget about his shit with Vivica Fox. Vivica Fox. Don't forget about his stuff with Tierra Marie. Don't forget about his relationship with Mayweather. Okay. All of that turns sour and he always wins. Okay. And I don't think that Monique has any more to lose. Right. But the neighborhood talk is saying that 50 Cent is going to give Monique another chance. Now, the good thing about this is that she has been blackballed. We haven't seen her in any major movie roles since Precious. Okay, which is who that movie? I tell you what, that movie it didn't end right. I'm, I'm sure everybody was was left when that movie end with their jaw hanging. Okay, but that was a hell of a movie, and that's the stuff that people don't like to talk about. So Monique came out and said that not only has she been blackballed by Oprah, Tyler Perry, and Lee Daniels, but she won that Oscar, uh, but was underpaid. <laughs> She said that they didn't even pay her right for that movie when that movie accumulated almost $50 million. She barely got a million is what she said. OK, but she said that years after. Right. Which made it strange and suspicious. So I don't know how it's going to work out between the two of them, uh, but hopefully it works out. And I'm also proud to see a black man trying to rejuvenate or resurface a black actress. So the black on black excellence, I love that. I do believe that Monique is a good actress. I think she really gets into her role. Now we are more used to the fat Monique. We don't really know this skinny Monique. Okay. But if she's given a chance, I guess she'll show us. Uh, let's listen to what the neighborhood talk, the clip that they have. Why? Was he following you? Well, what, 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 what you want to know? How long did Trey know came on November. November. Yeah. That's right. One hour later. You are so lucky that he did not shoot you. And he told me to shut, to shut, to shut my ass up. How did Trey know, 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 right? know, right? I don't know like you looking at me like that. You got this, you got this bitch me. looking at me like I'm some, like I'm some kind of fucking monster. Yes, 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 who the fuck you are? Who, 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 who's going to love me? Hmm? Since you got your degree, and you know where we fucking leave. I don't know any fucking thing. Who, who, who's going to make it? Yeah, so know. that pretty much mixed makes the clip of uh, Precious and Power together. So I don't know if she's going to have a role on power or what, but I think she can handle it. How y'all feeling about that? Flame it up. If you think this is a good move being made, put a hammer in the chat if you don't. Okay. So as we move on in the neighborhood talk, and then we'll probably head over to the shade room. Y'all, it's a beautiful day. Uh, while, you know, I hope y'all ain't hung over and stuff. Wake up, wake up. Cause we in here, bitch. Okay. And I know y'all wasn't expecting that. Blog hog for the one time with Loka. Yup, and they hate it. So, um, I, only, I can only be fair, okay? I have to be fair on blog hog. I do, I do, I do. In front of us, we have little Kim. Now, I'm always over here talking about how the Caucasian race or the Armenian race or Arabian race, all races, if your, if your bag is big and your coins are long, then you can go get melanin shots and turn bronze, okay? Now, I don't know what it does physic, you know, physically. I don't know how long it sticks with you, but we can witness that some of the whitest people are turning bronze um, because that money can get them a melanin shot or two. Right. But it would be unfair not to mention that some of the blackest, the darkest people are turning white. OK. K. Michelle being a prime example. Delicious being another example. Mm hmm. Uh huh. 
Serena Williams, another example. And then, of course, Little Kim, prime example. Turning white, right? It started with Michael Jackson, bitch, and it done got worse ever since. Okay? Little Kim. Now, she's rocking that Fendi. The Fendi is fly. Okay? We ain't going to play like the Fendi ain't fly, bitch. Okay? Fendi fly. She's Fendi from head to toe, right? But she's almost unrecognizable. Look at this. Okay? What in the world? <laughs> what in the world is going on here? Okay? You're talking about insecure. You know, I wish I had the answers. You know, she 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 looks even different from what she looked, I mean, a couple of months ago. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this. I mean, she she looked like Khloe Kardashian. Unreal. So here we have a Khloe Kardashian lookalike, bitch. Yeah. That's what it's given. That's what it's given. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Well, we got some good news as we move on in the blogs, okay? Will Smith and Michael B. Jordan to star and produce I Am Legend, the sequel. Oh, I got a lot I got to say about that. Michael B. Jordan. Now, he seems like a pretty respectable man, okay? Then you've got the, the legend, the legend, Will Smith, who played a hell of a role in the first part of I Am Legend. I'm going to tell y'all why that's one of my favorite movies. Y'all know how I am. I might come out and say some pretty outlandish stuff to drop your jaw. Some stuff you may not have heard before. Some stuff maybe that you have heard before. But I'm always back here to remind you what it could be. Okay. Um, and they tell you a lot of stuff in these movies. We already know that. Now, if you never had a chance to see the movie I Am a Legend, get on over to your DVR, please, and order that movie. It shouldn't cost you no more than three, four dollars. Bitch, if you ain't got it, I'll let you borrow it to the first. Let me know if you need to borrow three or four dollars, okay? Okay, because from the looks of it, by no support of the channel today, y'all ain't got it, right? <laughs> So if you ain't got it, bitch, if you went out to the casino last night and spent all your coins, uh, you done tricked off all your dollars on whatever you did yesterday, bitch, I'll let you borrow three, four dollars so you can go watch the movie I Am Legend and get into it. So a quick little overview, quick little rundown of that movie. <laughs> it pretty much it pretty much showed you what what the end of the world would look like. OK. Um, it, it was a, a time of a family who was separated from invaders and these creatures that came and pretty much took over the earth. Okay. After some type of a war or some type of a destruction and Will Smith played a doctor who had the serum to be able to outlive these creatures, these creatures that could only live in the dark. They could not live in the light. Uh-huh, and they had killed just about everybody except for him, the dog, and another person, okay? And so this was a very powerful movie. It's timeless. So if you haven't had a chance to go watch it, go watch it because according to this article, they have made a sequel or are going to make a sequel and Michael B. Jordan is going to be the star of it, okay? Now, the Neighborhood Talk says, neighbors, get in here for this. Will Smith is set to return for a sequel to his 2007 movie, I Am Legend, and Michael B. Jordan will be joining him. That's going to be epic, y'all, okay? While plots, details are being kept under wraps, for the new movie, Akiva Goldsmith, Goldsman is returning to both write and produce 
the follow-up after he originally adapted the I Am Legend screenplay based on a book of the name by Richard Matheson. So now I didn't know that there was a book. Y'all know the books always are better than the movies, but I think you would have to like reading, you know, to be able to agree with that. Um, I'm almost nervous to see what's coming on in the movie. Yes, it was, but equal. Flame it up if y'all seen the movie I Am Legend. Be honest now. Let me know if y'all seen that movie. Look, I just catch you having fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm almost scared to know what's going to come up in the next sequel. They've already told us enough, right? It's time to be preparing for what could be, bitch, okay? And so, yeah, like I said, honey, I'm nervous. You understand me? Because at the end of the day, we can all feel, especially with this, this chaos that's going on, um, you know, and I, I don't know if I want to burden y'all with that on this good Saturday. It's a beautiful Saturday, and we're going to keep it that way, okay? Now, I want to show y'all how the media plays around with your emotions for the one time, right? Looks like Sierra heard Lotto's verse. Now, some of y'all might not know who Big Lotto is or Lil Lotto or Moo Lotto, whatever the hell her name is. It looks like her verse on the Omerta song, okay? Now, I'm not going to play the song. Right. But this is what the media will always do. They will always take what's up, fine. They will always take one of your old, beautiful black icons. OK, I can't think of one individual in the industry. OK, that can stand next to Sierra. Yeah, I don't know if y'all know, but Sierra is, a, is an acrobat. OK, that girl got she's got rubber band limbs. She's just graceful and tall and beautiful and eloquent, okay? She's not, she don't get in no mess, you know. She, she really used what she got to elevate herself. And I think she's done a great job at keeping herself where she needs to be. But what the industry will do is they will always try to pull that shine and incorporate it with, with a biracial, or, you know, some type of new coming, you know, mixed person. That, that's what they do. And that's to that's to pretty much push a narrative. OK. And, and I know sometimes it might sound harsh because I'm always going to point this type of stuff out. OK. But life is harsh and the truth hurts. And this is the truth. Now, if you remember on the last midday show, we came around here and we gave Sierra her props because she deserved them. I mean, she's absolutely jaw dropping. She's beautiful. Okay. Um, but then they come right on back around, snatch those props back, and then incorporate somebody like Mulatto who can't even stand next to a Sierra in real life. I mean, come on. There ain't no comparison there. None. Zero. But that's how the industry does. There's a, there's a motive. And, it, you know, as a matter of fact, it's important that we talk about transferred spirits. OK, you know, you can you can be of one ethnicity or a certain type of race and have taken on another ethnicity spirit. That's what this is about. You know, the, the entire world, they must feed off the melanated energy. The, me the melanin is the only thing that's magic. You understand? This is why they have to have, you know, your black celebrities. They have to be the icons of this whole thing, right? And then you'll have your hybrids shortly after, okay? The hybrids are the ones up underneath them, but they had to build that spirit and take and feed off of that energy. Energy vampires feed off of that energy, of the melanin, the true melanin, not the mixed melanin, okay? No disrespect, but I'm talking about the, the untainted melanin. 
And then, of course, you have your melanated people that are turning white. Why? Because they have taken on the spirit. Confusion. Nothing ever good comes out of confusion, bitch. And that's what it is. Okay. Total chaos. Complete chaos. Right. Now, let's talk about Meg the Stallion really quick. Something that we never, ever do. Why? Because she ain't doing shit, bitch. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and be brutally honest. I like Meg. I think Meg is extremely talented. I think she's sexy. Okay, I think she's beautiful. I think she can wrap her ass off. I like that Texas twang that she brings to the industry, but she ain't doing enough of it. Okay, Meg the Stallion with a message for anyone tired of seeing her sexiness. Men should not be the only people allowed to speak on sex. Okay. So here they are once again, uh, you know, sexualizing the black woman. And, and, and of course it has to be allowed. It has to be agreed upon. And apparently it has been okay. Because every time we see Meg, she's naked twerking and bouncing. We, we hear a little bit of her rap. She's rapping a little bit, but naked a whole lot. Okay. Uh, it's no secret that when it comes to sex appeal, Meg the Stallion has definitely got it. Yes, she does, right? But she's got more than just sex appeal. She's talented, but we barely know that because all we see is booty cheeks clapping. She has no uh, so much that oftentimes social media complains or makes comments about wanting to see something different from the Houston hottie. Well, it's like the haters can kiss Megan's fat ass. Because during an interview with CR Fashion Book, Meg reveals why she loves her bold sexiness. Being bold is sexy. Sex is not just one-sided. Men should not be the only people who are allowed to speak on sex, she explained. Women should be able to control the narrative of how they want to be treated, not only in public, but in the bedroom, in confidence. She says, I'm confident in myself and I try to set an example for all my ladies to embrace their confidence and sexuality. <laughs> it's the agenda for me. It's the narrative for me. Okay. Um, yeah, I agree with the people. Show us something else. Show us something different. Okay. Um, I think Meg could be up there in the top three of uh, female rappers. I think that Meg has the ability to knock old Cardi B right on out the box, who we know is, you know, oh, let me go ahead and, and, and get some clarification about how I feel about Cardi B, okay? I don't like her raps. I don't think she's a good rapper. I think she has a hell of a producer and ghostwriter, okay? Um, but I do think that Cardi B is funny. I think she has a sense of humor. Um, and that's why the people fell in love with her because she is a bit witty. Okay. And she has a bit of sarcasm and humor that, you know, can grab you. That's how the people started to like Cardi B from her, her time on love and hip hop. She would say the most outlandish things, outlandish things. She, you know, came up with her own phrases and would make these funny faces and, you know, say words completely wrong. And people love that because she was being herself. Okay. It's, I don't think it's the raps that make people love Cardi B. Now, when you're married to somebody like Offset, I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, we know that Cardi B has ghost writers and stuff. Okay. But as a rapper, I'm, I'm going to give her a five. Now, for, you know, as an entertainer, I, I might give her a six. Now, Meg, on the other hand, okay, Meg can rap. She's got the look. She's got the rap. And I think that she could have, she could have, you, you, you can't miss your mark, though. It's all about timing, okay? And, and you know how it is. If you don't use it, bitch, you lose it. OK, and, and it seems like Meg has been stalling. People are waiting on an album. OK, and we're talking about one that's really juking. Right. The, you know, the music that Meg put out, uh, a lot of people were disappointed from her last drop. OK, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what it's about. It's more about overly sexualizing 
you know, the black female rappers and less rap. Okay, so that, that's a problem for me. So, yeah, I agree with the people. Uh, shout out to Miguel. Much love, Miguel. Thank you for always supporting the channel. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm tired of seeing her black ace. Okay. Now I want to get on to something more serious. We talked about this right in the beginning of the midday show. We got uh, Harvey Weinstein here. Now, you guys remember when Bill Cosby was going through all of his stuff, right? You know, the media, just like R. Kelly, just like Bill Cosby, you're going to always hear about an F up of a black celebrity. They got one thing to do. OK, they get lied on a lot. Um, and if they make one wrong move, it's going to be broadcasted all over the media. But when the other races or, you know, especially the Caucasians or the higher up or somebody that is supported by Oprah Winfrey, when they do stuff, you, you don't you barely hear it. OK, so a lot of people still in this day may not know that Harvey Weinstein is a sexual predator. He has dozens of cases and do dozens of witnesses that have came abroad and said, he touched me, he blackmailed me, he did this to me, he did that to me, and they privately locked his ass up. They didn't make it public and blast it all over the headlines. They never canceled Harvey Weinstein. You know, they secretively and privately locked his ass up and probably because he's not going to be there long, right? Um, but yeah, he's, he's just as guilty as anybody else that they have thrown the book at. Caught pale handed, says the neighborhood talk. Harvey Weinstein's issues apology after being caught with a box of milk duds in jail. An innocent misunderstanding. I'm sorry, says Harvey. <laughs> Neighborhoods, neighbors. Looks like Harvey Weinstein's little hefty ass is still breaking the rules. According to TMZ, he was caught pale-handedly in jail with a box of milk duds. <laughs> now it's unclear how he got his hands on the caramel chews. But officials seem to think that his lawyer may have slid him the box for the one time. I tell you, that bitch is watching. Somebody watching, they're stealing my slogans and I ain't getting a quarter, bitch, okay? Harvey, who was convicted of rape and is currently awaiting trial for more alleged crimes in Los Angeles, says it won't happen again. That's what all predators say. It won't happen again, right? We have an infiltrator in the chat. Somebody mad. Okay. Harvey, who was convicted of rape, is currently awaiting trial for more alleged crimes in Los Angeles. This was an innocent misunderstanding. It will not happen again. I have been a model inmate, says Harvey, following the rules and regulations. And I am sincerely sorry, he says. Well, we don't believe you, Harvey, says the Neighborhood Talk. Make sure y'all check under your tongue, right? Mm, mm, mm. I mean, quite the demon. You understand me? Woo, we. Mm. Girl, let's move on. Let's move on. Because we, we was talking about Cardi B, right? So I think we're going to have to go to another blog. Thumb me up for the one time. Feel free to support the channel. Blog hog on a Saturday, a playoff, the midday show. And we in here and it looked like somebody mad. We got the we got the robots in the chat, the, the webcam in the chat. You ain't mad on this Saturday, are you, bitch? It's a beautiful day. You know what? You might want to go get you some sun. You have a recessive gene that is causing you to, to act like a hybrid. Okay. Go get you some sun, bitch, and quit worrying about local. Uh-huh. Thaw me up. We ain't here. Now, a lot of y'all 
world may know, okay, because you watch the midday show, that Tasha K is still thriving and striving, okay, um, after her her judgment, after the judgment was granted against her from Cardi B, okay. Um, but believe it or not, Cardi B is not done. Now, we know that um, Tasha K is going to appeal, okay, She's going to appeal, try to appeal the judgment so that she doesn't have to cough up four million dollars. Um, so, you know, that has went on up to the Supreme Court. OK, um, but in front of us, we have Cardi B, who seems to be out for blood. Right. Believe it or not. Now, I may be able to find the article. I may not. You can take my word for it. Well, shit, bitch, go find the article yourself. I don't know. OK, here it is. You got lucky. OK, Cardi B is out for blood, okay? Cardi B asked federal judge to permanently, permanently, permanently ban Tasha K from continuing to spread harmful and disgusting lies about her own line. So if you guys remember, um, when all of this stuff first happened, you guys, I told y'all that I felt like Cardi B was on a mission to get Tasha K out of there for the long haul, meaning coming for the channel, okay? Trying to come for the channel to get her on up out of there. And that's exactly, hey, VT, that's exactly what's happening here, okay? She's trying to get Cardi, she's pretty much trying to get Tasha K on up off of YouTube. So she's coming for the platform, okay? Weeks after she was awarded a massive $4 million judgment against blogger Tasha K for defamation. Cardi B now is asking a federal judge to permanently stop Tasha from continuing to post harmful and disgusting lies about her via YouTube channel and social media accounts. Billboard reports in the new filing that was handed to judge yesterday, Cardi asked the judge to impose a permanent injunction, which is a court ruling that will force Tasha to pull the defamatory claims from the internet and ban her from ever reposting them via a statement through her attorney's Cardi's injunction request states that plaintiff filed the action because defendant refused to stop targeting her with harmful and disgusting lies. Damages alone are inadequate to address the constant ongoing threat of the defendants repeating the defamatory statements and defendants have uh, explicitly said that they will continue republishing the defamatory statements unless a junction is issued. Uh, as we previously reported, Tasha, Clay cl Tasha K claims that she is unable to pay Cardi B the four million she owes. Uh, shit, I don't blame her. Okay, now I don't know about y'all. See, it's it's the hype, it's the overreacting for me. Has anybody heard Tasha K even remotely or utterly mention uh, Cardi B since the lawsuit? I'm gonna go ahead and call Dung on the play. There, there is a file on the play somewhere. Okay, um, I, I don't believe her. Okay, I have not heard Tasha K mention Cardi B since the lawsuit. And once a judgment is made, it's done and over with. I don't care if it's a murder case. You understand me? So I don't know who Cardi B thinks she is. I think $4 million is enough damage. Okay? And bitch, if you're going to pay $4 million, I should be able to say what the fuck I want to say. If I'm going to cough up $4 million, bitch, I'm going to talk about you. I'm going to talk about your $4 million worth. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because see, what people are forgetting is there are laws put in place. You can say what you want to say as long as you're not lying on anybody. If you're speaking facts, then you can say what you said. And for my four million, I'd say what I said, especially if she's going to accuse me of continuously slandering her when I ain't heard Car uh, Tasha K say a word about this lady since the lawsuit. Now, I, 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 this is overkill, okay? It's overkill. So she's basically trying to control the rest of Tasha K's life. See that? That's how the that's how they are. You understand? It's never enough. 
You already rich. So Tasha K's little four million ain't gonna make y'all break you. Okay, but Tasha K said, get it off the roof, bitch. I ain't got it. <laughs> Which is why she's appealing it and taking it on up to the Supreme Court. Okay. Um, but we had kind of suspected that Cardi B wanted the channel gone entirely. Um, and, and that's exactly what it's looking like she's going for. And I'm telling you, don't be surprised if she is granted that judgment. You know, it would have to be done at the Supreme Court because it's already out of the hands of, you know, regulated jurisdiction. It's already out of the hands of that. OK, so uh, maybe that will be her counterclaim. You know, maybe she'll come out and try to present that to the judge once it is uh, on the desk of the Supreme Court. OK, uh, but I, I just think that's horrible. I think that's horrible, especially uh, being a viewer and knowing that we don't hear um, Tasha K mentioned anything about Cardi B. So apparently that $4 million wasn't good enough. And if I was the lawyers of Tasha K, I would definitely bring that to the attention of the court. Okay. She's still trying to control the narrative, you know, and let's just say that there were other blogs that came out and talked about Cardi B. You going to sue them all? People have the right to have their opinion. I don't like you, okay? You gonna sue me, bitch? Unreal. Anyway, let's move on, okay? Uh, in front of us, we have the picture of the beautiful um, Bobby Christina. You know, um, I don't know why they're showing this young lady, okay? I guess it would have been her 29th birthday. May she rest in heaven. And then they have a picture of Whitney and, of course, her baby girl. And y'all wonder why Bobby is running around with his mouth twitched up. Could you imagine? Could you imagine what he's going through? And I have to constantly be reminded by the media of not only your ex-wife, but your daughter. I think they should have permission to, to do things like this, you know, after the fact. Yes, she was beautiful. And, you know, I think with the death of both of them, they they played just directly in our faces directly in our faces fear you know we we have to remember about fear and if nothing has been instilled in the melanated community um fear definitely has been in, instilled um we're very good at talking about each other um setting precedent and standard for each other. But when it comes to defending ourselves as a collective or questioning the play, oh, we ain't going to do it. We wouldn't dare question them. We wouldn't dare want a, a sound answer or ask them to make it make sense. How in the world does a daughter pass away just like her mama did? And it ain't no foul on the play. Girl, get out of here. Get out of here. Something is the matter with that entire situation. And then, you know, no shade to the shade room or the neighborhood talk. Uh, but still, they're not the only blogs or media that's posting, posting them. You know, people still don't got questions. You know, with all of all of the greats, with Michael Jackson, who was a clone, but you thought he was Michael, so you gotta let it live. You know, with Prince, with Bernie Mac, with all of these people. Ain't nobody got questions. But let it be your own people. And you go, you got all the questions. You're gonna do video after video after video. You're gonna stand proud. You're gonna say it over and over and over again till people get tired of hearing it, right? But when it comes to the others. And your people, you just sit back and say, yes, Massa, that's what happened. Yes, Massa, that's what happened. Unfucking real Shout out to all the ladies in the room. It's a beautiful Saturday. You understand me? I just wanted to come out and share the light with y'all for the one time. Y'all know how we do do if the sun ain't out where you are. Bitch, you better be that son today on a Saturday. Look, if you can, get your barbecue grill out. I don't know what. You know, go get your shop on. Go get your hair done, your nails done. Enjoy this beautiful Saturday, which is a day of sun, you know. 
I don't know what else to tell you. Thumbs me up before we get on up out of here. I fucking love y'all in spirit. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Blog hog. Midday on the weekend, bitch. Okay? I hope y'all enjoyed it. Meet me on Mukbanger Media. Set your reminder. If it don't work, trigger it again. Okay? I want to see everybody in the building later on on this very same channel. Uh-huh. I got a surprise. We got some new updates with the updates coming around here. Okay, shout out to the Liddy investigators who give me the prompts, clip tips, and the clues. Much love to y'all. Okay, and until next time, girl, you know I'm a holler. It ain't gonna be long, okay? It won't be long at all. <laughs>